Hello, and welcome to the Fall 2014 online section of CS11 C++ Programming. My name is Steve Hodges. Please call me Steve. Uh, this is the first of two-part uh, intro video to the class. Today I'd like to talk about the course documents and uh, our online uh, Blackboard site. And then in the second part, we'll learn about the tools that we're going to use for C++ programming and write our first uh, computer program. Uh, this course is all centered uh, around Cabrillo's uh, Blackboard site. Uh, it's at uh, cabrillo.blackboard.com. You can also get there uh, from a small link at the bottom of Cabrillo's front page. Uh, at this point, you should have an account. Uh, and um, there's links on here uh, to create an account uh, if you're enrolled in the course. Uh, also a link if you've forgotten your password. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then we can take a look at the uh, course. All right, um, our course is section 88402. Uh, you may see several courses when you log in, depending on how many uh, classes you're enrolled in this semester. All right, we have a brief uh, welcome message, which uh, I'll uh, customize uh, soon. And uh, we see a discussion area, uh, course documents, uh, calendar, uh, programming assignments, and some other things that we'll uh, take a look at uh, later. Let's start with the uh, course documents and um, in here uh, there'll be several handouts that we'll use uh, during the semester uh, here's a sample one right now uh, you'll see uh, programming assignment grading rubrics uh, for each of the uh, eight programming assignments um, I'll show you uh, the first one of those in a minute uh, for each of the uh, programming assignments you can um, you can check and see how it's evaluated uh, materials from the previous time I taught this class um, are available, so you, if you see things labeled Summer 14, uh, that's uh, materials from last time I taught the course, including a series of online lectures um, and uh, notes uh, for, um, for that previous class. Um, here is our course syllabus, and um, you, know, you will want to uh, take a look at this. I just want to highlight just a few things uh, uh, from the uh, syllabus. First of all, uh, your um, technical um, skills. So uh, in this class we're not assuming that you've had any prior programming knowledge. Um, that's the point of this class is an introduction to programming using C++, but uh, we do assume that you're fairly efficient uh, with uh, using a computer such as what you would uh, know um, if you had taken CS1 and CS1L technology tools. So that would include some of the following things. Um, the ability to uh, install and configure software, uh, file and folder uh, management, uh, including uh, managing uh, file names and the name extensions, uh, you know, file extensions, uh, compressing and uncompressing uh, files and folders, you know, for example, zip compression, uh, basic email usage and the, using the web browser, and um, using an online course management system such as Blackboard to participate in discussion, take exams, uh, upload assignments, and so on. Um, if you've never used Blackboard before, um, you'll want to get familiar with it using some of the provided uh, tutorials. All right, the textbook uh, is uh, C++ for Everyone, second edition, uh, K. Horseman. Looks like this. Um, it's a nice textbook, and you will need that. Um, we will, I will be assigning uh, readings and uh, exercises uh, directly out of the um, textbook, and it's quite good. Um, this is the same textbook that's been used uh, by our other CS11 sections, so you should find uh, be able to find plenty of new and used copies uh, at Cabrillo in addition to you know wherever else you would like to buy uh, textbooks. And it's also available as an um, a ebook also. This course is going to center around uh, online uh, lectures. Uh, we're going to have both uh, lectures and uh, and shorter labs uh, assignments. I'll try and keep them as as, as short as possible. Uh, we have the textbook, and then we have uh, online discussion, which we'll take a look at. So those are kind of the three pieces that that make the uh, content of the class. Um, in addition, we've got a couple of exams and uh, eight programming assignments. Then um, we have a small portion of the grade um, reserved for class participation. So that's ten percent. Um, you'll score the full 10% if you make three useful posts in our discussion group per week um, for the first week. Uh, there's slightly different rules. And then uh, the completion of the uh, lab exercises is the uh, last portion of the grade. 
academic integrity. Uh, please do take a look and, and see what the um, rules are for the assignments. I'm assuming for the programming assignments, the ones that are graded, that it, each of everything that you turn in is your own individual and original uh, work and grading it accordingly. Uh, I have uh, many hours that uh, I'm available. I'm also teaching several in-person classes this semester, so there are many hours where you can come see. We also have um, tutors. All right, let's take a look at the um, course discussion. So this can be an important part of the class uh, where you can get um, questions answered um, as you're working on um, uh, the various exercises, you're working way through the concepts in the textbook, maybe you have questions about the lectures and so on, or maybe you, you even have questions about the programming assignments themselves. Um, maybe what it is I'm asking you to do. We'll post sample solutions and I'll encourage you to post your solutions and we can compare and contrast and discuss um, our programs uh, online. Um, but that's only once after they're collected. Let's take a look at the um, actual programming assignments. Okay, they're right here, starting with assignment zero. And um, the way the assignments will work is you can read a description. Uh, sometimes the description is a simple few sentences. Sometimes it requires uh, a page or more of um, explanation. And um, each of the assignments have a particular um, due date and time. They're always due at 7 p.m. Most of them are due on Saturdays. Um, the first two assignments are due on other days. Um, uh, because they're simple and we want to all make sure we get started. The way that you'll, um, they'll work is you'll take your program file with a specific name and you'll zip it up and then you'll um, attach um, your um, um, zip file. So you'll attach file, browse my computer, select your zip file, um, add any comment if necessary, not required, and click submit. Um, and that's how you'll um, turn in your um, assignments. Let's take a look next at the um, calendar. So on the calendar, um, the two most important things that you can see are a schedule of when each of the assignments is due and um, the reading schedule. Um, so here we can see these um, things here that say T for the textbook. And so starting this week, you want to get started with ch um, chapter one, sections uh, uh, one through six, and then moving into chapter two um, uh, later in the week, and then early next week, getting started with chapter three, um, and starting with chapter four by the end of next week, and so on. So the reading schedule is up there. And you can see the due dates for each of the assignments is already up there. Um, you can also see the due dates for our midterm exam, which is um, scheduled for um, November uh, Thursday, November 20th, and the final exam. Um, both the midterm and final exam will have a practice exam that's available uh, for um, two days um, before um, the actual exam that you can take um, if you would like to use that to prepare for the um, actual exam. Okay, so that's the calendar. And I believe that completes our, our quick tour of the um, course. Um, please take a look at all of the course documents and um, contact me or post online if you've got any questions. Thank you.